My name is Hassan Mackey. I'm attending Eastern University in Pennsylvania, and this is the Elite Shot Trainer. Uh, he's a lacrosse player, you know, and you start playing lacrosse, and dad's a little older than you, so, you know, I want to do all the newfangled stuff, and dad tries to keep you on the straight and narrow and just focusing on your skills. And finally, it clicks when you listen after getting mouthed a few times by teams that you should have beat. And then as you listen and you start to get better, you start dreaming, you know? And so the dream starts coming true the more you listen and the more you work. Because I remember being in their shoes. I mean, yeah. being in their shoes in the high school would come out and practice and be like, just looking at them like, ah, oh, oh my God, this is a high school kid. Like, this is the coolest thing ever. So I remember being in their shoes, so I want to give back to them. What? <laughs> That's dangerous. I like the camouflage outfit you got going on there. Oh, is that uh, just kind of what you want to do when you're older is yes. getting it back? Yes, definitely. Yeah, definitely. describe that. Just talk about that. It, whether it's, it, I don't care what it is. As long as I give back to everyone who gave to me and even more. As long as I can do that, I'll be happy. Okay. Well, he had a really good coach in high school. You know, and uh -huh. and Seacrest, he took my uh, incomplete son and gave him a playbook and completed him <laughs> and then let him run around and throw the ball to his buddies, yeah. you know. But in that, man, we one of the things that we talk about is uh, growing the game. You know, you'll mm -hmm. hear that across is growing the game, man, because we're jealous of everybody else. Everybody looks all shiny, and <laughs> we could be shiny, too. Uh, well, number one thing I learned. Uh... Patience, but also to have fun. Yeah. Yeah. Because, you know, my dad, he was a hard head. Really? He was coaching me. Yes. Yeah, was <laughs> <laughs> yes, when he was coaching me. But, I mean, it was fun. Yeah. It was fun. And I know I got on his nerves sometimes. So that's, that's the fun. patience. Learn when, okay, this guy's right, so I need to listen to him. You know, you're, you're telling, you're talking to kids, you know, just be patient and it'll happen. Mm -hmm. And they're going, I am a child. I want it to happen right now. But then when it happens, and it's undeniable, mm -hmm. you know, to see yeah. the fruits of his labor and the byproduct of that in, in our relationship was he sees now I wasn't lying to him. <laughs> you know, that's important for me. And, and in the end, it was a, another, a very prideful moment for me or a proud moment for me. He came to me after graduation and said, Dad, thank you for everything. I get it. I said, buddy, you don't get it all. <laughs> but you get this first part. Yeah, this is the easy part. You know, it, brother. He made it through it, and and the, again, the most important part for me was he got to see the fruits of his labor. You know, it's again, it's collective. He had a great coach. He listened, but now you see what that does, man. So that's pretty much the the important part for me. You know, no, I'm proud for him, if I could say it uh, politically correct, I guess. I'm proud for him. I'm proud that he gets to see if you work hard, you can achieve your dreams.